everyone. Welcome to Liz's Park Review. Today we are in Assateague Island, Maryland. We are camping here on the island and I am going to show you around. Today we are going to be checking out the trails here. Um, first we're going to start out with the Life of the Dunes Trail. Later I'm going to show you the old ferry landing area. We're going to do a little crabbing for those Maryland blue crabs. And then we're going to stop at the Life of the Forest Trail. So I'll show you all of that in this video. Um, thanks for joining me today. I did just recently make a video um, that gives a tour of the campgrounds, the Oceanside Camp Loop on Assateague Island. So if you're interested in watching that, check out that video. They were going to develop this island, but after a storm washed it out they decided not to but they had already built this road so it's just here deteriorating she's just talking about it i am filming it but it, it, there's a sign up here this sign explains how they were going to develop the island they had planned thousands of building lots here and since a storm washed out the road they, they didn't end up building any of that and they decided to use it to make a protected <laughs> seashore um, for wildlife. So the island is 37 miles long and it's uninhabited. Well, it just has the it campgrounds on it. That's it. <laughs> or else this would look just like Ocean City now. It would. Ocean City looks really just too compact. There is no... I mean, there's one of the guys... So this is one of the overlooks on the Life of the Dunes trail. Um, in this trail you walk in and amongst all of the sand dunes here on the island. That's cool. That is cool. This is one of the oak trees on the island. The trees on this island are kind of unique. Um, they endure a harsh environment, so they um, grow looking a little different, shorter, um, you know, a little bit twisted. Sure. Can't take a dog though. They don't allow dogs on the hiking trails on the island. You can bring them on the beach and the campground and other areas. I wonder why you can't bring a dog in. I don't know. Strange. You gotta wear something that the sand comes out of, Gerald. What? That's a different kind. Those are babies. So now I'm going to take you over to the bay side of the island. We're going to one of my favorite spots on the island, the Old Ferry Landing. We're gonna do a little bit of crabbing here. I'm gonna show you some of the wildlife here. Um, this is a really great spot. Now, this is the area of the island they do offer their nature programs here where they will teach you how to catch blue crabs. They will teach you clamming and they'll teach you more about the bay. If something that's something you're interested in, they have classes every day. Okay, so I'm going to show you about crabbing right now. You can see I've got the crabbing rig here. It's a string tied around a stick. Here is the rig that has a piece of chicken neck on it. You drop that down into the water and the crabs will start feeding on that and they'll pinch it with their claws. And then what you have to do is you slowly reel it in um, without getting the crab to let go. So if you reel it in, um, quick at all, they'll just drop right off of it. They're not like hooked on it like a fish. Um, they're just pinching it with their claws. And when they get close to the surface, you gotta just scoop them up with a net. So it's pretty neat. Um, we've done this, we did this a lot of the time when we were on the island. Um, the kids like to do it. Um, anybody could do it. It's a lot of fun. And we did end up catching a good bit of crabs. Um, it's harder than it seems, though. Now, 
this part of the island is set up for crabbing. They have these crab measuring stations all over this boardwalk area. They have to be a minimum of five inches to keep the crab. Um, but as you can see here, they have a nice long boardwalk that goes out um, above the bay. So there's a lot of area where you can crab easily here off of the bridge here. And let's take a look at some of these crabs. The bay area here is a good area to kayak and paddleboard. Um, the water is a lot more still than the ocean, so it's an easy area to kayak in. Um, it's a great place to view wildlife. The wild horses come out here all the time, and there's a lot of birds here as well. Right now they are doing their crabbing program where they are teaching people how to crab. That's why there's so many people right there. Um, they do the clamming program as well. We're going to do that in a little bit and check that out. Catching any more? Little ones. Got a couple. We had to put that bucket over, uh, the basket over the, our bucket of crabs because the crabs are very feisty and they will just crawl right out of the bucket. Um, they're very sneaky. Um, also, they'll just, you know, they snap their little claws. They'll try to pinch you a lot. Yeah, I want to do the clamming. So right now we're trying the clamming program. Um, Basically, all you use is this rake and you scrape the bottom of the bay and you feel if you hit anything, it's probably a clam. And then you kind of dig it up with your hand and that's about all there is to it. Um, they do have the quahog clams here. That's their main variety that people eat around here. Um, and there's a lot of them in the bay. Did you catch one, Ben? Oh, that's a big one. Wow. Good job, buddy. Completely brainless. Yep, and they can live forever. How do they do all that with no brain? Next, we are going to be heading to the Life of the Forest Trail, also known by our family as Emma and Gerald's Trail of Love. So Jeff and I decided to experience the magic for ourselves and see what this trail is all about.
And oh, there's horses around. The evidence is everywhere. 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 In your campsite, everywhere. In the forest. There's nowhere the horses won't go. As these signs explain, the island doesn't have that many sources of fresh water, so little pools in the forest like this are where all of the wildlife need to come to drink, um, including the horses. And also, they take shelter in the forest when there's bad weather. Come up here. <laughs> They do, they enjoy the trail. Horse Island. As you can see, this trail has a boardwalk that comes out over the marsh. Um, this is a good area for viewing wildlife. Every day. Thanks for watching today's video on the trails of Assateague Island. If you like this video, I do have more content on Assateague Island or other camping areas. So subscribe to my channel.